followers of the way where you get that raw, uncut, and unadulterated truth. Stay tuned. tell you this morning that if there's any man out there okay that's operating with any other name for the father than Yahuwah especially if these people that saw my work that I've done on the names or you know these men claim to be awoke and awakened and conscious and all this other stuff you, you hear these cats running around you know claiming that they are I'm here to tell you this morning that these people are false prophets Okay, simple as that. You know what I'm saying? And some of y'all probably saying, why are you calling these people false prophets for? And it's simple, you know what I'm saying? When you, whenever you think about a prophet, okay, and I want to just kind of hit on this real quick and then I'm going to get into the message that I got for you all this morning. But whenever you look at a prophet, you have to understand that a prophet is basically the mouthpiece of the father basically speaks for the father to basically convey the message to the people that the father will want them to hear, okay? And so what people have to understand is that when you go into the Bible, and it doesn't take any hard work to bear this out. When you go into the Bible and you look from Genesis all the way to Malachi, we can see how the men throughout these different time periods all called on the same name. You know what I'm saying? The name of the Father appears almost 7,000 some times in the Old Testament. You know what I'm saying? The Father remaining true to his word as he told us that his name would be a memory unto all generations. Okay? So the proof, you know what I'm saying? The proof is in the put. You know what I'm saying? And so what you have to understand is that throughout all of these different time periods, when the people came, when the prophets came to the people with the message to the Father, they came in his true name. You know what I'm saying? And this is how they knew who the real prophets was and who the real prophets were. You know what I'm saying? It's just like when you look at the account with King Jehoshaphat. You know what I'm saying? When he was down there with uh, uh, Ahab. You know what I'm saying? And he had all those false, false prophets down there prophesying in the name of the Lord. And, you know, Jehoshaphat, like, where, where, where the prophets of Yahoo at? You know what I'm saying? I hear what they saying, but where the guys at? You know what I'm saying? So I'm here to tell you, my brothers and sisters, if... A man is not don't have the true name for the father. These people have not been sent with any message from the father. You know what I'm saying? And it's hard for me to take a person serious who claim to be a messenger, claim to be sent, and they don't even know what the father name is. They know all this other stuff, but they don't know what the father name is. You know what I'm saying? And you have to understand that a lot of these cats out here, they got hidden agendas on why they do the certain certain things that they do. You know what I'm saying? If you look at some of these you know, some of these camps and these leaders and stuff, these people that's over these camps, some of these cats are just in this thing for the money. You know what I'm saying? It, it you know what I mean? <laughs> you know, it's just simple as that. You know what I'm saying? They in it for what they can get out of the people. You know what I'm saying? This is why if you sit down and you watch some of these videos, they can't even get the message out clearly because they, you know, the super chat, you know what I'm saying, is, you know what I'm saying, messing their mind. Or they got to stop every few minutes to, you know, thank you for the super chat, you know, all this other stuff, you know what I'm saying? So, you know, this this will be up with some of these cats, you know what I'm saying? Then you got some of these cats out here that's just freestyling, that's just in the way, you know what I'm saying? And it's, and, you know, and it's hard to take people serious, especially when you got people that saying they sit by the father, but they don't know what the father name. Then you got some cats, they flip flopping, you know what I'm saying? Year in and year out, they jumping from this name to this name. So it's hard to take these type of people serious and you know you'll be a fool to subject yourself to a person that's telling you they've been sent by the most high and they don't even know what the father's name is but when we go into the book we can see how the prophet uh uh yasha yahoo you know what i'm saying isaiah when he came with the message he said what thus said yahoo this is what yahoo said 
So how are you coming with a message to the people? You don't even know what the father name is. You know what I'm saying? So the question then becomes, where, where does, where's this message coming from? You know what I'm saying? So these are the things that, you know what I'm saying, people have to watch out for. And um, I don't care, you know what I'm saying, how big a movement is. I don't care how much some appear to be, you know what I'm saying? The facts is the facts, you know what I'm saying? And you can never get around the facts. And when you start sidestepping the facts, this is when you run into problems, you know what I'm saying? So, you know, when you look at me, since I come into this thing, I've called on one name. You don't see me flip-flopping, go back, check the credits. You know what I'm saying? You don't see me jumping from name to name and all mixed up and confused. I'm teaching you the name, you know what I'm saying? And um, that name, I, that name, hands down, undisputedly, is the name of the Father. You know what I'm saying? This is what the facts bear out. I don't care what name you bring forth, it can be easily dismantled. You know what I'm saying? With facts, not this fairy tale stuff that some of these people be coming up with, you know what I'm saying? And, uh, you know, and that's just what it is. You know what I mean? So, uh, I wanted to touch on that, you know what I'm saying? So people can understand, because, you know, the days and times is coming when the Hebrew people here in this nation, the heads, the leaders, the the, the men, that's the, 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 the head of these different movements out here, is going to have to come to the table, you know what I'm saying? And sit down, and uh, we're going to have to get this thing right, you know what I'm saying? And it's, you know, maybe then the father, you know, once we take the initiative to those that really, you know what I'm saying, have a desire to know the truth and walk in the truth, it's going to probably be that time when we all sit down where the father really going to speak from Zion, you know what I'm saying? So, uh, remember you heard that here first, you know what I'm saying? But anyway, um, this morning I wanted to come and, uh, you know, do a real quick message as I'm uh, I'm in the lab this morning. Uh, I just uh, wrapped up uh, part three of uh, the mirror series uh, the other day. Uh, so I got that in the blender right now, as you can see right now on the screen. It's done. I just wait on everything to kind of level out, you know what I'm saying, with the visuals and stuff uh, on YouTube. And uh, I'm going to release that probably later on this week, you know what I'm saying? So that's done. But anyway, while I was uh, in the lab, I said, you know, let me jump on here and kind of do a follow up to the last message I just did titled uh, The Fall of America, because I've been following closely uh, the things that's been taking place here in this nation, you know, for over the last several months, I've been following things closely, you know what I'm saying? And in my last video, I was speaking about, you know what I'm saying, how the fall of America was coming, but I'm here to tell you today that America's done, America has fallen, it's done, it's over with, you know what I'm saying? Um, See, America has been weighed in the balances and has been found lacking, you know what I'm saying? And to the people that's really been paying attention to all of the stuff that the Father has revealed to us, if you've been paying attention. Now, some of y'all not paying attention. Y'all just, you know, going on with your everyday life and, you know, some of y'all stuck in my la land and not really, you know, paying attention to what's going on. But to the people that's watching, you have to understand that America's just been judged. It's been weighed in the balances and it has been found lacking. You see what I'm saying? And, you know, it's like, you know what I'm saying? This so-called constitution and all of this stuff you hear people talking about, they might as well take that piece of paper that the founding fathers here of this nation put together and just burn it because it means nothing at this point. It's done. Like, you know, they this the, the government just showed you that they would run all type of red lights in order to implement, you know what I'm saying, they plans and the things they trying to do, you know what I'm saying? And, um, you know, one of the things about Trump, and of course I gotta watch some of the stuff I'm saying because they, are, you know, they heavily censoring, uh, shadow banning people and things like that. Um, so, but anyway, Trump had a slogan that he would say that he was trying to drain the swamp. And uh, if you really paid attention, in order to drain the swamp, you would basically have to dismantle the whole United States government because that's how corrupt to the core that America is on the inside. You know what I'm saying? All three branches of government from the, what the executive, uh, legislative, and uh, uh, what is it, the, the uh, judicial, you know what I'm saying? All of that stuff is corrupt. You know what I'm saying? And you would have to dismantle all of that stuff, you know what I'm saying, in order to drain the swamp. You know what I'm saying? Because this is how deep this stuff run. And see what people gotta understand is is that these politicians get paid by 
these major corporations in order to implement certain laws and stuff. So this is who pay their bills. You know what I'm saying? So what you have to understand with a man like Donald Trump, he's pretty much like one business, one businessman going against a gang of businesses because this is who pays these politicians. You know what I'm saying? All of them are doing deals in the, you know, in these different places. And so when it's time to come out and judge righteously, they can't even do it because the hands tied behind their back. You know what I'm saying? This company done paid you so much money where you can't say nothing, you can't do nothing. You know what I'm saying? And so as I sat back and I watched all this stuff, because to anybody that's watching, it's, it, and it's not even like they hear anything. You know what I'm saying? It's like they just G that. We taking that. You know what I'm saying? You know, we taking that. You know what I mean? We're going to wear you down in the force. We're going to run off the time clock. And you, you're not going to be able to do nothing. We gonna, we gonna, you know what I'm saying? We're going to tie you up. And you ain't going to have no choice but to surrender. You know what I'm saying? But I just want to point out some key elements, you know what I'm saying, of the things that I observed. And it's like, even when you go back to this guy that supposedly had this trailer, allegedly, going across state lines with, you know what I'm saying, all these supposed, allegedly, ballots and stuff, okay? FBI, Department of Justice, these people are nowhere, you know what I'm saying? Now, if this would have been a, a trailer, a, a, a trailer full of cocaine, it would be all over the news and be headlines and stuff. You know what I'm saying? But see, the Department of Justice and all these people, they, 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 all of that stuff is corrupt. And then you got the Supreme Court, which is supposed to be the highest court in the land, and they can't even judge right. You know what I'm saying? You, so you, you put it in place in order to bring judgment and clarification to a situation. You like, nah, we, we, we not even getting into that. Why? Because these, these people, their hands are tied behind their back. They can't do nothing. You know what I'm saying? And so, as you watch this stuff, you can see how corrupt these, look, look, look how corrupt the, the government is from the Department of Justice. You even had the, the, the post office was in on this stuff. <laughs> you know what I'm mean? saying? They was in on it. You know what I mean? So this is how deep this stuff run. You know what I'm saying? When you have the court system that's corrupt, now these, now this is the same, these, this is the same court system that if you come in front of them, they gonna fry you. They gonna they gonna they, they gonna fry you if you if you come in front of them, but whenever you got these politicians and all these people doing this underhanded stuff that's illegal, they don't mess with them. You know what I'm saying? So what this is showing you is that America is done. You know what I'm saying? They've been weighed in the balances, and if the father is sitting back watching, if we see this stuff, and you know the father see it, and he allowed this stuff to happen, this lets you know that it's, it's over with. You know what I'm saying? And this is why now you see all this heavy censoring because. What you got to understand is that the Europeans value money, okay? This is what they value, you know what I'm saying? Just like the scripture got the Gentiles, they put their faith in this money and stuff, you know what I'm saying? And so what they're doing is that they're basically selling out the country for the love of the dollar, you know what I'm saying? And so, I mean, when you, when you, when, when you really look at and really see how, how, this, how, this, how this stuff is operating, they really trying to turn this nation into a communist nation. You know what I'm saying? They want to control the narrative. You know what I'm saying? This is why you see them now. They're banning people. You know, shadow banning. You know what I'm saying? Canceling people. You know what I'm saying? Kicking people off all these social media platforms who are in opposition to them. And the reason why they're doing this is because the media... Now, mind you, you, you only got so many people that own the, the, uh, like the news media and stuff like that, and they want to control the narrative. They want to control the flow of information that's coming into the land. And so if you go back just, you know, months ago, they were spinning this narrative about Donald Trump this, Donald Trump that, da 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 And what they found out is that when the election day got here, you know what I'm saying, they see that over, I think it was over 75 million some people voted for him. You see what I'm saying? So what that was showing them, they became incensed because they saw that the narrative that they were spinning, people weren't going for it because people already know not to mess with the mainstream media. They know they got to go to alternative sources. So what they're saying is we got to shut these sources down because this information that they pumping out of here, people is getting their hands on this stuff and we cannot allow basically the, 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 uh, the, the, you know, this nation to be divided like that. Basically meaning they want to be able to control the narrative. If they say, you know, the sky is purple, then th this is what it is. The sky is purple. If you say it's anything but purple, then we coming after you because they want to control the narrative. 
You know what I'm saying? So we living at a, in a time where, you know, they, they, you know, it's just all this stuff is artificial. You know what I'm saying? And then when you look at Biden, you know what I'm saying? It's just stuff is, it's funny, man. You know, and I sit back and I, you know, it's amusing sometimes because if you follow like mainstream media, the CNNs and Fox and all that stuff, they don't show you like the behind the scenes of what's going on. Like for instance, they had Joe Biden down in Atlanta basically rallying for the, 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 the guy down there that won. And when you look at the rallies, because the other, the other, the, the, the alternative media, they gonna show you what's going on down there. But when they show what's going on down there, the man only got about like five or 10 people down there <laughs> at the rallies. And even on, on, even on inauguration day, the man couldn't even muster up a thousand people to come down there to the, you know what I'm saying, to the inauguration. You know what I'm saying? All you saw down there was government officials, you know what I'm saying? This is why they moved the military in to bring that presence in, to basically bring bodies in, to make it seem like, you know what I mean? And then you saw government officials. You really didn't see no people out there. You know what I'm saying? And like I said, you gotta go to alternative uh, news media sources. You know what I'm saying? And um, they showing you this stuff. You know what I'm saying? They showing you how when Obama was president, Obama had that stuff packed out like the people was in attendance down at the seal on inauguration day. Donald Trump, when he was elected president, the people came down and flooded down through there. Joe Biden, when he came, he can't even get a thousand people to come show up. But he got 80, 80 million some people that voted for him. So all of that stuff is artificial. And it's just, you know what I'm saying, numbers and stuff that they're doing to, to, to overinflate things. You know what I mean? And so um, I say that to say, my brothers and sisters, that we living in some times right now where, where the father's getting ready to continue to bring America down. You know what I'm saying? Because... America got to pay, you know what I'm saying? You gotta understand this nation was founded on bloodshed, you know what I'm saying? So they don't get to get away with that, you know what I'm saying? No nation has ever got away with it, you know what I'm saying? When you go back into the book of Jeremiah, you can see how the father had Jeremiah prophesying towards the end of Jeremiah about all the nations, even Babylon, how he was gonna destroy them, even though he used Babylon to tear down everybody in the nation, Egypt, Jerusalem, and you know what I'm saying? All of those different uh, nations out there. You know what I'm saying? The father lets you know that although I'm using you to do that, when you get done doing that, I'm going to tell you now. And this is the same thing that's going on here. You know what I'm saying? Where the father is slowly but surely bringing this system down. And before you know it, it's going to be ugly in the paint. You know what I'm saying? Because these politicians is going to continue to keep selling their people out. And it's getting so crazy now that it's, it's not even just affecting black folks. It's affecting white folks too. But see what people got to understand about black folks is that black folks is used to being at the bottom here in this nation. So it's not it's not really a big thing, a real big difference for us. You know what I'm saying? We we for the most part, we still in the same position that we that we've been in. You know what I'm saying? So it's not really affecting us, but it's affecting everybody else who uh is not used to being at the bottom. And they getting ready to bring this stuff down between this COVID and all of this whole made up stuff. They getting ready to they're getting ready to bring this nation down low. It's going to be nothing because they want everything ran by the government. You know what I'm saying? If they can get all of these, all of this stuff in the middle out the way, they can um, they can, they can own everything. You know what I'm saying? Why do you think you see the Walmarts and the Targets and all of this stuff open, but they want to shut down all of the other stuff? You know what I'm saying? What's the difference from you going into Walmart? You know what I'm saying? So you're telling me that I can go into Walmart where it's super packed with people and I can be okay to shop and not get COVID. But if I go to a, a bar or a restaurant, <laughs> you know what I'm saying, with with people in there, now that somebody I'm at risk of getting COVID, like, come on, man, this stuff is madness. You know what I'm saying? But they want to move all of that stuff out the way and crush all of that stuff. That way everything will be owned by the government. You know what I'm saying? So as simple as that. You know what I mean? So I just want to encourage people, man, to just uh especially the elect, man. We gotta be focused on what's going on right now. Um and and uh, we definitely got to make sure that we be being mindful of what we're doing, especially with our funds and stuff like that. You know what I'm saying? Because we don't know. There's probably going to be a slew of lockdowns and stuff that's coming. You know what I'm saying? So I would encourage people to uh, make sure you're investing your, your money and stuff properly and make and just really making sure you're getting all your essential needs and things like that. You know what I'm saying? All that other stuff is just for the birds. Because, I mean, nobody knows the direction that we're going in. You know what I'm saying? And... Um, you know, they slowly but surely they bringing this nation down, and it has to, it has to come down. You know what I'm saying? And so, uh, you know, we as a people, we as Israelites, uh, you know, our time is on the is is is, is on the come up. It's coming. You know what I'm saying? So we just got to make sure 
we getting ourselves together because ain't no telling what the father got up his sleeve. He already said what he's going to do for his people. You know what I'm saying? When he deliver them, you know what I'm saying, from these different captivities in which he has placed us in. You know what I'm saying? So, I mean, for me, I ain't even really tripping. I'm just amused at all of this stuff and being able to see the corruption that's going on and it being so blatant and flagrant. You know what I'm saying? So... You know, I don't want to, didn't want to take up too much of y'all time this morning, but I thought it was just kind of interesting. And I think I wanted to kind of follow up and just, you know, put the finishing touches on that. Um, but yeah, it's, you know what I'm saying? It's, 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 <laughs> it's over with. So I would advise people, you know, like I said, once again, watch how you spending your funds. Um, it, it would be wise to, you know, making sure you're investing in something that's going to, that's, you know, that's, that's, that's going to be beneficial because, you know, all of this stuff is coming down, man. The money, uh, all of that stuff. Just just look at what's going on. It's just, it's unstable right now. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So I would be watching and paying attention to all of that. But uh, but anyway, I uh, ain't going to keep y'all uh, long this morning. I just wanted to touch on that. And, um, you know, I'll go ahead and I'm going to leave this message to y'all. This uh, morning, in the name of our king, Yahushua, and the Shia. More able to gain, get it? True Yahuwah, my cable is saying, let it. Your kingdom come, your will be done. Cause the time of the world, some righteous king is done. How many more lies need to be spoken? How much more demise for a token? How many more cops provoking? Before you realize the illusion, with real eyes that the devil is out seducing. Ain't no government trying to do it for you.